Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for um, October 22nd to October 28th, 2018 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling again I want to remind you guys that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for our Leo star signs and it's not going to be uh, your personal reading Therefore, uh, in this spread, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, also um, their positioning in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and uh, to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that being said, going for the tarot spread first, now the first card here, the first position is going to be about the topic for Leo's week. The second position is about the core of the situation or why the topic is happening. Third position is about the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last position that is going to be the guidance which tarot is uh, offering to you Leos. So let's see what you have here. Now the first card here as a topic, this is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles, it's a very broad card. First of all, as, a as all the Aces, uh, it does offer a certain variation of a new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles as a topic especially, but also the Ace of Pentacles um, points that the topic this uh, this week for you is going to be slow and steady growth and if that growth takes place into your career environment in, into your business it does promise you a, um, a success into one business and into one career should that growth falls into your romantic um, life like relationships friendships etc etc is going to offer you a um, a harmony into one relationship should I say that way and nothing really much can be said about the Ace of Pentacles apart from that things are going to start stabilizing and start consolidating uh, around you Leos as you will be the point of revolution <clears throat> of all undertakings that you take on. Uh, therefore, this week as a topic here, it will be beneficial for you to focus more upon those long-term goals rather than being scattered among um, a small and, and, and rather picky tasks which, uh, which will require your attention for, uh, let's say, a day or a couple of days and, and after that they, their results are going to fade away in, um, in the past here. So uh, instead of being uh, instead of being investing into those small agendas here, uh, as a topic this card asks you, Leos, to um, rather be more um, more involved and more devoted to the long-term goals, to those kind of aims that you are looking forward to, and those um, those kind of results that you are uh, that you are to expect that will secure your future. Because as I said, that all the aces offers some variation of a new beginning. This ace especially offers a variation of a new beginning that will allow you through that new beginning to consolidate and secure your future. As I said, regarding your relationship or regarding your career, either through harmony or either through success. Now, the next card here is going to show us the core of the situation or why the Ace is happening. And we do have the Seven of uh, Swords, highly singular card. And under singular card, the, Ace of, uh, the Seven of Swords reflects one personal ideas. Especially as a core of the situation, you can observe how the person is uh, walking away from a war camp, this is the explanation I usually like to offer here when we do have that card. Walking away from a war, from a war camp here, holding only five swords, leaving two behind, which means that the one is taking only what one thinks deserves or what one thinks uh, worked for, all right, as a payment. And uh, basically moves away from the war camp. Uh, which symbolize foreign agenda toward one's personal agenda. So that card as a core may uh, symbolize that you finally recognize what would be best for you to do 
And instead of uh, involving yourself and contributing yourself, Leo, for the benefits of someone else, this time around you decide to do something for yourself as you recognize that no one else is going to do that. And um, <clears throat> therefore, you basically start walking towards your own personal dreams rather than investing into foreign dreams, into alien dreams, which uh, are offering you little in return. And the Seven of Swords is also accompanied with some conflicts, as sometimes, you know, people try to stop you from uh, chasing your own personal goals, as uh, that, is, that is kind of a prerequisite that you're going to leave your position into their uh, agenda and uh, from that part from that particular sense you have to be also ready throughout the week to have a, a, a strong backbone should I say if you are confronted you need to retaliate <clears throat> If you are attacked, you need to deflect as well. In other words, whenever you face a predicament, you have to be ready to storm the situation and to demand what, uh, what you deserve out of it, to demand your payment, should I say that way. So it is time, uh, only from those couple of cards here, Leo, it is time for you to show to the world that you are not as a... Um, um, uh, how can I place it? Not as a... Um, a week to manipulation as the world think you are and that you are just as strong as you are uh, on your own if not much stronger than with a constellation of people so I, it is time uh, it truly Leo it is time for you to write or to rather analyze um, how can I place it to um, to scale, not analyze, but to scale what you can achieve on your own and what you can do for yourself against what you are you doing for other people and how much you are profiting out of it. And you are to realize that it is much better to be on your own or rather to follow your dreams than to chase someone else's. Then the next card is what causes you predicaments here throughout the week. We do have the high pre the empress, excuse me, a little bit of a peculiar card because usually the empress uh, speaks for comfort, the empress speaks for reaping out results of one effort, and also the empress it speaks for maturity, uh, being able to make a uh, a balanced decision, not exactly balanced decisions, but let, let's say a accurate decisions from which every party is benefiting. And as we said here, obviously that cannot be achieved throughout the week, because this time around you are going to make a such decisions that benefits highly you and the hell with the rest, because the rest used you until this very moment for their personal goals and now it's time for you to do something for yourself. Therefore, the Empress here symbolizes your confrontation with that aspect of, uh, 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 of your environment. Those others which are standing there hoping that you will decide other way around, that you will still stick with their dream. This is, guys, no different than, for example, you do have an idea for your personal business, but in the same time, you're a very valuable asset in a certain company, and you finally decide to initiate your business, and uh, the company is starting, is starting to... Uh, to make a predicament for you to leave, you know, uh, for example, interest in the contract, you know, or some, um, <clears throat> uh, what was the word here, some stipulations in the contract which are preventing you from leaving just right now, and these things need to be appealed if, if needed in court, I mean, you should not be succumbed to the predicaments here, but rather you need to raise your, ha your head and make a, a stand for it, all right? You just need to show a, a strong backbone. And this is what the Empress here symbolized, that it's not going to be very comfortable. As a matter of fact, it will be very uncomfortable for you to do so, but it is required so you can reach a, um, a comfort and also a steady growth in a long term. And then the last card here, it is showing up the guidance that uh, Tarot is offering to Julius, and this is the ace, the Page of Swords. And there is no other interpretation of this card falling as a follow-up and into that position that it is time for you to make a spring cleaning. Sp spring cleaning of noxious people in your life, spring cleaning of uh, pointless and futile 
tasks, undertakings and agendas as well. It is time for you to realign yourself with, uh, with your goals, with your dreams and in generally to get back in track of what you are chasing and what you are finding substantial for your growth and for, um, for your well-being, should I say that way. Of course, this card also suggests some conflicts here and it asks you, um, you know, to um, to kind of throw yourself into them because they are unavoidable. If you try to, uh, how can I place a maneuver in between them right now, they will come back to you in a later stage uh, of your development, and it is much better for you to face them at this very moment than. Um, when the things for you are, are starting to develop. So that was the tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you, Leos. Now they are to show a um, event that you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. One second. All right. So the first one, this is going to be uh, the home or the house and the house stands for home it stands for personal estate estate it stands for a, a domain and then we do have the ring which stands for com uh, commitment it stands it stands for relationship it stands for partnership as well and the last one this is going to be the child which is which stands for uh, petite it stands for new beginning or it stands for a, a child as well so what I can say is that these cards are pointing to a new commitment that entirely falls into your domain. And what we said here is that you are to focus more upon your personal stuff and the undertakings and the agendas which are your personal rather than those which are alien and foreign. So that, uh, that event is kind of like quenching this uh, this reading pointing that something major is to happen in your personal life here which is going to give it a, a different and new direction from which direction you are going to be the beneficiant here all right you will be the one who is going to reap the benefits of that undertaking so uh, the only thing that can really stop you from do so <clears throat> will be your fear of not confronting certain people and just so I be clear I want to give you a, a example a, a full example you know of um, let's say a relationship so uh, that could be a, a a a resolution of a long tri a love triangle here so let me tell you that let's say that um, you are a, a boy which really likes and loves a girl that has a uh, a boyfriend and that boyfriend is your friend they break up all right they break up throughout the week and you find out that that girl really likes you as well and you are, and you are a big portion of that breakup as well all right so that breakup uh, the, the big factor of it was you so what happens here is that you do have a choice to make, which is going to throw you off your balance. It's going to throw you off your uh, comfort zone here. You have to choose either going to be with that girl, which kind of um, correspond with following your agenda, all right? Or you can do what you have done until this very moment, please your friend, I not be with that girl, all right? Which goes totally against that reading here that is a choice of you to make but should you go for the girl then this um, <clears throat> this promises you a, a long-term relationship as we can see from the topic here and on top of that is going to make a, a spring cleaning in your uh, social circle drawing uh, or pushing away a, a noxious people and maybe you are going to find uh, the other side of your friend that really uh, nasty and mean side that manist which is wafting from that person you will most likely decide that this person does have no room into your social circle so that was just an example here you know because that reading could affect virtually any kind uh, any field of one's life and uh, literally what what the reading tells you Leo is that you have to think first and foremost for yourself for if you don't do it no one else will guys that is the sad truth
So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018, Leos. And uh, I hope you enjoyed and you liked it. And again, this was a general reading for Leo Star Sign. And this was not your personal reading, guys. Therefore, I did my best here to explain the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.